What's going on guys? CTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Sammy Atomas Wave and Sega Naomi. Now there are a few emulators that support Naomi and Atomas Wave, but in this video we're going to be using RetroArch and the newly updated Raycast Core. If you're interested in running Naomi or Atomas Wave with a different emulator, I'm going to leave a link in the description. We have an older video for that. But there are people out there that want to get everything they can to run in RetroArch so they don't have a ton of different emulators floating around on their PC or in their LaunchBox build. So this is fairly easy to set up. I'm gonna walk you through it, but first you will need RetroArch installed on your computer and you need to be updated. I recommend being on the latest update as of making this video, it's 1.75. This will change in the future. So one of the most important things you're gonna to need to get this up and running is the Naomi BIOS. You're gonna need the correct BIOS. I have it on my desktop here. The most compatible one with Raycast as of making this video is EPR. 21576G.bin. The one right underneath it, Naomi underscore boot.bin, is the same exact BIOS, I just renamed it. We will need to rename this 21576G to Naomi underscore boot.bin. We're going to need to take this newly named BIOS here and place it in our RetroArch folder, System DC. So my RetroArch folder is in my LaunchBox directory, Emulators. RetroArch, and I'm going to find System. In here, we're going to create another folder called DC. We're just going to place this newly renamed BIOS right in here. Next up are the games. So I have mine separated here, Sega Naomi, Sammy, a Thomas Wave. Mainly, you're going to want to get a hold of the bin and LST files. The same ROM sets that were compatible with Null DC will work with Raycast. Bin and LST files. This is exactly what I'm using for mine. Same thing with Sammy Thomas Wave. Bin and LST. So let's go ahead and open up RetroArch. We're going to want to update our core. Just gonna launch it here. I do recommend being on the latest build. Like I mentioned, as of making this video, it's 1.75. From here, we're gonna scroll down to Online Updater, Update Core Info Files, and Update Databases. I always do this when I get a fresh build. Now we need to download the Raycast Core. So we'll go to Core Updater, and down here we should see Sega Dreamcast slash Naomi Raycast. Now we're going to go ahead and exit RetroArch. Let's place our games in our LaunchBox games directory. We're going to back up, LaunchBox, Games. I'm going to place both of these folders in here for easy access. So now that we have everything transferred over, it's time to open up LaunchBox. So the first thing we want to do is add the two new associated platforms to RetroArch. We're going to go up to Tools, Manage Emulators, and we'll find RetroArch. If you don't already have it set up, I've made a tutorial. Link for that is in the description. Edit, Associated Platforms, and at the very bottom here, we want to create two new associated platforms, Sega Naomi. For the core, we're going to use the drop down menu here and find Raycast. Raycast underscore Libretro. We want to create another one for a Thomas Wave. Sammy, a Thomas Wave. Same thing, we want to choose Raycast. Make sure we have both of these checked and click OK. Now all that's left to do is import our games. Tools, Import, ROM Files. First, I'm going to do Naomi. From here, I'm going to add files. I'm going to navigate to where I placed my Naomi games. We're going to open up this folder. And we need LaunchBox to only import the LST file. So at the very top, type in LST. Select the very first one. 
Control A will select everything in this folder, all the LSTs because we're searching for it. Click open and next. Platform for imported games, drop down menu, Sega Naomi, next. Retro art should already be chosen. If it's not, use the drop down menu. Next. I've already placed all of my games in my LaunchBox directory, so I'm going to use the files in their current location. I'm going to search for game information from the LaunchBox games database. I do want to download everything I can here, so I'll click Next. If you're signed up with EMU Movies, you can go ahead and choose everything in here. I'm going to skip it just to make it a little quicker for this video. Click Next. We do not need to specify any custom options, so we'll click Next. This is the name of the game file location, and extension, .lst. Click Finish. LaunchBox is now going to download our metadata, artwork, and everything like that. Give it a little time to finish up. My 53 games were imported successfully. Over in the left-hand column, we should now see a Sega Naomi option. Here's all the games I just imported. So we're going to pretty much do the same thing for a Thomas Wave. Tools, Import, ROM Files. We're going to add files. Remember, we need the LST files. So mine's under Sammy, a Thomas Wave. Search for LST files. Select the first one. Control A. Open. Next. Platform for imported games. We want a separate section, so we're going to choose Sammy, a Thomas Wave. Click Next. We're using RetroArch, use the files in their current location, and so on and so on. Finish. Now it's going to import my Thomas Wave games. 20 games were imported successfully. I will see the Sammy, a Thomas Wave option over here. So now it's just a matter of starting a game up. I'm going to go with one of my favorites, Metal Slug 6. Double click. It's going to launch RetroArch, and we can start playing. The controller I'm using is an Xbox One S Bluetooth controller. It should already be set up in RetroArch, but you can mess around with the controls if you'd like to. Now, when I set up RetroArch, I set up a menu toggle hotkey. I'm going to go ahead and press those now. It'll bring me back into RetroArch. From here, we can scroll to options. Now these are the Raycast options. There's a lot of stuff to mess around with. I've been experimenting with it a little bit. Internal resolution, you do have to restart the game, but you can up it pretty high. With the setup I have, I can do 1280 by 960 just fine. A lot of this stuff just really needs to be experimented with. Um, it depends on your hardware. Screen orientation, if you're playing a vertical game, you can set it in here to vertical. Alpha sorting. MIP mapping, volume modifier, frame rate, full speed, region, texture upscaling. We also have threaded rendering. So if your PC is a bit sluggish, you can always try threaded rendering. The setup I have here seems to work fine like it is. We're going to back up one, go to controls, and you can configure your controls from here. Just remap how you like your controller set up. I'm going to resume this game. Mission one, start. Thank you. Okay. And while we're here, I'll go ahead and test another game. Love Border Down, so I'm going to go ahead and play this one. And you will get this Naomi BIOS. I just love seeing this. I'm going to go ahead and skip into some gameplay. So 
that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. I hope you get this set up because it's an awesome addition to your LaunchBox build. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.